They're 100 days that will forever be ingrained into Rwanda's history. 100 days which saw one of the deadliest massacres on the African continent and in the world. Around 800,000 people were killed, and according to UN figures, 250,000 women and girls were raped. The genocide broke out on the 6th of April 1994, when a plane carrying the Hutu Rwandan president was shot down, killing everyone on the flight. Hutu extremists blamed the Rwandan Patriotic Force, a movement founded by Tutsis, and started killing members of the minority Tutsi community. They also targeted their political opponents, regardless of their ethnic origin. Names of government opponents were given to militias, who went and slaughtered them, along with their families. At the time, ID cards indicated people's ethnic origin, so militias constructed roadblocks where Tutsis were killed, often with machetes. The bloodshed went on for three months until July, when the RPF, backed by Uganda's army, seized Rwanda's capital. Fearing revenge attacks, around two million Hutus fled to the neighbouring Democratic Republic of Congo, then known as Zaire. The international community was soon accused of failing to halt the killings. Although the UN, Belgium and France had forces in Rwanda, the UN mission was not given a mandate to stop the massacre. French President Emmanuel Macron has said that France and its allies could have put an end to the mass murder, but lacked the will to do so. The US, meanwhile, was intent on not getting embroiled in another African conflict, a year after US troops were killed in Somalia. International leaders, including US officials, were reluctant to use the term genocide, a term that would have required the international community to take action in Rwanda under the 1948 Genocide Convention.